Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we have a lot to cover. Vanderpump, we never talked about the finale. The one and only Miss Sarah Farasia. I'm eating. I'm eating. And I know everybody gets you know to know how people eat. feel about I that. I don't care. I don't give a rip. We talk for hours. I need to eat. And people I and I will let you know when I'm preggers. I will. I'm not preggers yet. I got some good baby news because I know people are following my miscarriage journey. Went to the IVF doc. They said, your uterus is looking great. I know you don't like have one, David, but anyway, you know, the uterus I'm is looking great. I'm proud of you. 16 follicles for a chick that's 41. They said, hey, that's good, bitch. They're checking my thyroid, though. They think there might be a thyroid issue, which may have explained the uh, miscarriage, but I'll keep you posted. But Keep us gonna, posted. You... I mean, look, I, I'm here by my free will. We won't get into if you pay me or not, but I'm here by my free will, but I got to have a snack. Now you go. Everyone is paid commiserate with their actual experience in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any complaints. You I have experience. You. Somebody said, oh, people, after I was talking not about, you know, you know, I did a podcast about you. I know you did a tell all. Oh my gosh. I, I did a tell all. No, I, and I mean this. I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. And I've said it a, a lot, but I do mean it. And I want to stand up for my friends, except for if you pull a Jen Shaw, then I'll never speak to you again. But okay. you've helped me tremendously in my business, tremendously. And you are one of the only podcasters, by the way, you happen to be a guy who has gone out of their way to share how you've made money. And you've helped my business in the past two years double my income. I, you deserve credit for that. I greatly appreciate you. And I, I told that on my podcast episode. I'm so grateful for you. Um, and did people give it nasty comments? Yeah. Uh, so no, maybe people you should wrote in. They said they actually said exactly. People then go, you know what? I, well, I, I hate to tell you this, but I did get a few, not a ton, but I got a few comments that people were like, "I found you actually through David." Now I listen to your show more than David's. So David, That's maybe fine. you ought to pay David. <laughs> You need to pay me a finder's fee, girl. I'm not paying you a damn lick. Although I'm not paying you a damn lick, but I do love you. I'm not paying you a damn lick. Although I have a announcement. Speaking of that, our episodes for everyone listening are going to truly sync up, like I do with Melissa. Like the oh. day that yours come out is the day mine comes out. Woo, we have had a really, really, really. Every year is better. This year is the best I've done, and I have not. Like it was August was so pleasant. I finally am like, this is how a normal person works. I really got myself into a hole. The phone was ringing, 12 people want to interview. And I'm like, now we have 12 shows and we have no real estate, but our episode, Sarah, you and I are going to sync up right. on the same day. Which means <laughs> Thursday and Fridays, right? So yeah. Sarah Let's Fraser, see. although you know what the one thing is, because everyone accuses me of being a slave driver. I am a slave driver, by the way. When it comes to work, don't come work with me if you can't keep up. Um, you know what the one thing yeah, but I, I gotta like? Have a snack. I mean, you know that's what the thing? I gotta eat. I don't know about a snack, but you know what the one thing about you is I'm very concerned, everybody. I'm very concerned. So this this bitch, Miss Fraser, tells me off air the other day. She reminds me that she's trying to get pregnant. I don't know, but we're going to have to talk about your maternity leave when I think two weeks, but guess what? Here's the good news. You better prepare yourself. It's going to be a month at least. And you need, and you and I will have to plan for six weeks. So you better get your mind wrapped around it. And this is what guess I said. What? On I said, he is a slave driver, but I tell him no all the time. I'm going on vacation with my kids. Yeah, let's my not, let's not feel sorry for Sarah Fraser. She gets, you know, puts me in a place, but guess what? For all the people who say this, some of the greats, and I don't need to mention their names, uh, when I first started, I did mm -hmm. David solo shows. Now, I didn't love it, but the number one thing when people slip into my DMs is people beg me to just turn on the mic and be like, here I am. It's just David. So we'll be doing solo shows if we have Good. to when that happens. I can tell you right now, people, no one will ever on this podcast be a regular again. You're, you're grandfathered in, sweetheart. I mean, we have Melissa Rivers. We have Catherine Edwards. We have, we have, we have a lot of regulars. We have a lot of regulars. We have a lot of more people who could be regulars that I'm friends with, but never like, oh, what now? Never again. Um, I couldn't agree more. Couldn't you agree know more. what we need to discuss? Tell me, tell but me. here's There's the good lot. news also, everybody. Here's the good news also. She, you're not pregnant right now today. And guys, right. a baby is carried for nine months. So we got like this, this problem of your four it's weeks a year off, away. It's right, a year I'll away. deal with that in a year and all these people, you know, yeah. Um, this Vanderpump thing, we never talked about the finale. We saw Tom and the kids right before. 
We mm-hmm. have this random, everyone used to say to me when I would go to Jersey filmings, everyone used to say to me, well, like you're in the mix. Like the Jen was mad at you. Margaret was this. Now you're in with Jen. Margaret said, they're like, just go up. I'm like, it doesn't work that way. You will literally be thrown out of a film. You can't just walk up to a housewife when they're filming. They're so right. Apparently I was wrong. Apparently you could just pick up a chair as a random person that was invited and just throw it. I mean, this is very strange, right? And Tom is sort of being hailed a hero. I mean, you and I trailblazed. We were we were fans and pushing Tom Sandoval a long time ago. Uh, I don't know about that. But it, this story is, doesn't really, I don't know. Does it add up to you? The, apparently, they were at some sort of like fu- charity, not charity function, but like award show or something in San Francisco last week. They're... In this ceremony, Tom's all dressed up in his tux. And then this person that just wanted to disrupt filming comes in ready to throw a chair. And Tom Sandoval stops the guy. But we don't know who he is. And then, by the way, at least as far as I've seen, there's no police call that was made, which seems a little strange. I mean, the guy is getting ready to throw a chair or potentially hit somebody. And no one's calling the police to go, hey, there's like a madman, you know, at this event. He needs to be arrested. He's disrupted. Bravo. I don't know. I mean, that seems like a little off to me, doesn't it? And then Tom's well, kind of a hero. Well, let's, there's a lot here to unpack. First of all, we have come out our good friend, Billy Lee, who you met at um, uh, Tom Sandoval show. Billy has come out and said, apparently the person came up to her and was saying things to her. I mean, Bill, Billy Lee and Tom are very good friends. I think that's kind of why they brought Billy back into the mix of kind of like, you know. He needs a friend. Yeah, aside yeah. from Schwartzy. Yeah, sure. So, right, aside from Schwartzy. And so apparently the person came up and was saying things to Billy Lee that were, you know, listen, we have Drew Barrymore getting stalked at, at the New York City 90 seconds. Oh, oh right. You saw that. So, and then at her Hamptons house. So, like, the person came up to Billy Lee and was saying things that were not really crazy, but just things that were like personal. Like, how does this person know this much about me? And it seemed like Billy Leah said it seemed like it was someone from her childhood, but whatever it was, it didn't seem like good intentions. And even if the person is non offensive, if someone comes up and is talking to you about what you did in your fourth grade class, Sarah, you would be like, that was my teacher. I did have, I did throw up all over the room. Like, it's not on the internet. How do you know this? Like, it was that type of strangeness. And Billy apparently tried to avoid the person and then I guess maybe went to her friend Tom. So there is some backstory. However, however, I do agree with you. All of a sudden, we're ending the season with an edit that Tom is a hero. I love Tom. You love Tom. But is this real? Is this real, guys? Or is this like, we're not firing the guy. We're not firing Ariana. We're not firing anyone. So we better figure out a way to get this cast back together. I don't know. I agree with you, Sarah. Is this real? Or is this the edit to redeem Tom Sandoval? Because we can't have another 